Right, here we are on day three of the National Astronomy Meeting in um, Glasgow, and I'm joined now by Marek Kukula from the Royal Observatory Greenwich, um, who is going to be telling us all about the latest citizen science project uh, called Solar Stormwatch. So what can the public get involved with now? Well, Solar Stormwatch is brought to you by the Royal Observatory Greenwich um, in partnership with the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory and the Zooniverse team, who are the people that brought you Galaxy Zoo. Um, and we really wanted to get involved in citizen science. We've been watching um, with um, envy and admiration what Galaxy Zoo had achieved, and we thought we wanted a piece of that action. The Royal Observatory Greenwich um, obviously was a great research institute until the middle of the 20th century, but it's now a museum and science centre. Um, and so we thought it would be a really nice way of bringing research back to the observatory and also involving the public, which is, of course, now our main focus. So we contacted Chris Lintert from the Galaxy Zoo team and said we'd like to do something with you, what have you got? And he came up with a big data set from NASA's stereo um, solar science mission studying the sun with these two spacecraft. So will people be looking at archival data or current data as it's, as it's being processed by the spacecraft? Well, the mission has been up for a couple of years, so there is already a massive, massive archive. And of course, with citizen science, this is one of the, um, one of the great benefits that with all of these people involved, they can analyse these huge, huge data sets. Um, so some of the data has already been taken, but some of it is quite new. Um, and basically, as you go through, you'll get a mixture of, of new and, and old data that you can look at. So is it solar flares that people will be looking for and then tracking them as they, uh, as they propagate through space towards the Earth? Or are there other things as well? As we build up the website, there will be more and more things that people can do. But at the moment, the main focus is these things called coronal mass ejections, which are massive explosions of billions of tonnes of material that come off the surface of the sun. Um, and if they come towards the Earth and hit us, they can have all sorts of effects. So they can damage satellites, they can um, injure astronauts' health, they cause beautiful aurorae um, down here on Earth, but they can also trip power grids and plunge people into darkness and um, affect communications networks, mobile phones and things like that. So there are lots of practical reasons why we want to understand them as well as because they're a really cool aspect of solar behaviour that we'd like to understand. Um, and this is what Stereo has been looking at. So you'll get real images of things being blasted from the surface of the sun and the idea is that people can identify them and then help to track them um, and give us some warning of whether these things are heading towards the earth or not. So the data that people will be collecting will then go into a big sort of data set that scientists will then analyse and help to build um, sort of prediction models for solar flares and that Yes, sort of thing. this is it, it's not just a bit of fun, it really is providing really useful data um, for the for the astronomers. They just can't handle it themselves. Um, and the interesting thing is that getting lots of, of people, even though they might not be solar physicists or, or specialist scientists, the combined classifications made by dozens and dozens of members of the public actually give you a more accurate um, result than a single classification made by an expert. Um, and it also gives you um, a degree of confidence as well in, in how well a particular event has been classified. So it's actually better data than the scientists could do themselves. And of course, you can do it much more quickly with dozens and dozens of people involved. So where do people go to find out about Solar Stormwatch and sign well, up? Well, it's very easy. SolarStormwatch.com is the website. And if you go there, you sign up, um, you get uh, your Galaxy, your Zooniverse um, username. So you get access to all of the different Zooniverse citizen science projects. Um, you go through a very, very simple and painless training exercise. I've done it myself. It really is very easy. Um, and then you get straight down to analysing the data. There's a great forum on the website where you can chat to other users and also to some of the scientists from the project and there's also resources for teachers um, so that they can plug solar storm watch straight into their classroom activities as well so there's a, something for everyone and it, it really is a chance to get involved in genuine useful scientific um, research so we're all very excited about it and i understand also at the observatory in greenwich it's also solar solar season there as well so what can people do to learn more about the sun well that's right one of the reasons that we picked the solar storm watch data set um, for, for the one that greenwich worked on was that greenwich has a long history of solar science it's one of the things that we're most famous for um, so um, lots of the great discoveries in in the early stages of the field were made in Greenwich and we decided to celebrate solar storm watch and that history together
together by having a new planetarium show called Secrets of the Sun. We've got uh, an exhibition about the history of solar physics and going from very early ideas about what the sun was right down to our modern understanding and our attempts to recreate nuclear fusion here on Earth. Um, and we've also got a series of events and talks and um, sunspotting sessions with solar, um, solar telescopes on site and it runs up until the end of May. And how long do you think the Solar Storm Watch project will be running for? So I know Galaxy Zoo have just reached, is it 60, uh, 60 million? It's a like huge <laughs> number of yeah. hits, so really great achievement. Um, we hope it's going to run for a while. The stereo mission won't last forever, but there is still this huge archive of, of, of data which we'll need analysing. But we're hoping to um, that, that the website will live beyond stereo and perhaps we'll be able to link it into some of the new solar science missions that are going up. So there'll be plenty to do. Excellent. Well, all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you.